With all the talk at the moment about energy efficient computing, I thought I'd show you a quick and easy way you can find out how much electricity your computer at home is using. Now you could buy a handy device like a kilowatt, which you just plug into the wall and then plug whichever device you want and measure it into it. But if you've got a traditional analog power meter at home, then there's a fairly straightforward method you can use, which is going to cost you nothing. The first thing you want to do is turn off as many lights and appliances as possible, including the computer which you want to measure. So switch off the TV, turn off any lights you can. Switch off the AC if you've got it going. You also might want to consider turning off the fridge just in case the motor kicks in while you're doing this and throws off the measurements. Next, head out to the power meter and tell them how long it takes for the disk from the analog meter to make one full revolution. So here you can see the meter, and with a close up, you can see the revolving disk. Take note of the numbers that come after the letters KH. Here, mine's 7.2. Yours might not be, but whatever it is, remember it. So pick a point, start the stopwatch, and see how many seconds it takes for that point to come back around. Now go back inside and turn on your computer, or whichever device you want to measure. Remember not to turn on or off anything else. Once again, head back outside and see how many seconds it takes for the disk to turn fully once. Now all that's left to do is plug that data into this formula. With 3,600 being the number of seconds in an hour, the cage number being whatever is stamped on your particular meter, and the number of seconds the time it took for one revolution of the disk. So for me it would be 3,600 times 7.2, the cage number, divided by 85 seconds, my original measurement. So here you can see in red the numbers for my first timing, and below it in green, the numbers for my second timing with the computer switched on. This gives two power measurements in watts. And if I subtract the first from the second, I'm left with just over 113 watts, which is what my computer is using in an idle state. Once you have this, it's a simple matter of finding out what the unit charge is for electricity in your area. You can then work out how much your computer is costing you around. If you think it's expensive, you might want to consider a more power efficient computer.